Hi, my name is Marie. Um, I do a little bit of everything, I guess. I create experiences for traveling and for other people and for myself. And I also like dip into like the fashion world. And I also kind of do like creative directing. I like coming out with concepts for shoots, but I don't like shooting them. Um, I would say it actually, I actually, my fashion, my love for fashion stems from music because when I grew up, my mom had Motown hits. She had, doc, she still has Dr. David Chronic. Um, she, Michael Jackson, she has all these like, even like from Allen Iverson, like everywhere, it stems from basically like black culture, but I grew up around a lot of like black culture, black music, black sports and all that. And that's how I got into like the fashion world because I was, seeing the fu uh, FUBU for us by us, Dapper Dan, when he was making Louis Vuitton <laughs> illegally. And I got to see all that, like the looks of like Little Kim and stuff like that. I got to see that growing up, like videos, watching videos. I should have never been watching like BET Late Night or anything like that. But I used to watch all these things because my mom, she would just have them. So she was literally like my influence, like just the music that I listened to and like the different concepts they brought to set and the fashion that they brought because, you know, black people push the culture. Right. Um, can you talk a little bit more about like these real iconic moments as well? Is there one look that stood out to you that was just like that right there? That's it. I I don't have that many. I I don't have one because there's so many. Like the the crush on you video by Little Kim is like my all like the different colors that she did. Like she pushed the culture and like Rihanna when she was in all crystals and stuff like that. Like that was fabulous. Beyonce when the 2006 BET Awards Deja Vu. Like there's so many different like things that push the culture and I can't pinpoint one. So I want to get into your your love of travel. Can you talk about that moment, that, that travel? But where the first place you traveled to? Vegas. <laughs> I wasn't even 21. Look, and then, but also talk about that. Is that your first time getting out of your hometown as well? Uh, no, it wasn't my first time. That's the first memorable time. My first time I was five and I went to Jamaica with like my family. So like my grandma and her side of the family. My mom didn't come with me. It was just me, my grandma and her side of the family. But I was five. I don't remember shit, but the clear water. Um, so when I was 20, I decided to just go to Vegas. My friend moved to Vegas from Reading and I met her when I was working. And I was like, I'm not 21, but I'm still gonna go regardless. And it was my birthday too coming up. So I was like, I'm just gonna go. And I went and I had the best time of my life. Um, so can you really talk about like, why you thought it was also important to give this experience to other people? Cause you also help people. Um, I thought it was just important because I mean, I made every year, like every year I go on a trip for my birthday, but the one year that stuck out to me was Bahama Bahamas. I went, I solo traveled for a week by myself and that I was already going through like a dark path in my life. Well, not really dark path. I was going through something at that moment and that like trip opened my eyes. Like it made me dig in like deeper into myself cause I was by myself. Like I had to figure shit out by myself. I didn't have nobody to, you know, look around for my surroundings. And as a woman, you got to double check your surroundings. Um, but I got to meet so many people and I still communicate with them. I meet, I met two girls from Germany, a girl from Portugal, a guy from Australia, a guy from New Zealand, somebody from New Jersey that he also does a podcast. I met somebody from Iowa that runs. So like I made all these connections and like this year I was supposed to meet up with them. It was supposed to be like, we're supposed to celebrate a year of knowing each other. And we were supposed to meet up actually in, in Europe, but we couldn't, you know, you just, it's ghetto. So we couldn't go over there. But um, I wanted to give that back to other people. Cause I'm like, wow, I learned so much about myself and other people and just other cultures too, because Bohemian culture is so much different than black American culture. Like Caribbean culture is different than what we experience over here. And I think like once people open their mind and they, get to experience that they can bring that back to their city or their town and try to change it for the better yeah, and i think something that's beautiful is you get to see these multi-facetedness of what blackness can be so mm -hmm. can you talk about your particular experience with a black woman traveling to these other spaces as well and like what how does that how does that empower you well at first i was like scared because you know you know black woman is like the lowest of the totem pole first and foremost besides black trans woman black woman is like the lowest i was scared to do it but then i was like yo fuck it like if i'm not gonna do it who else is gonna experience it so going to like bahamas is different like the caribbeans they truly love black people i mean we we did have a race war on twitter on twitter not that long ago but they do they like they're like oh you're you're like you're one of us they treat you like you're one of them like i got so much free food in bahama like i got a lot of free shit when i was in bahama and but like going to like europe it was different um like paris they looked at me and manny up and down like 
ew, disgusted. Like not only was I was American, but I was a black American and I was a black woman. But like when I went to Mexico, it was it was a little scary for me because that like they looked at me like I was because I was the only black woman at that time in like Tulum there alone. Um, and they looked at me like I was just like some piece of meat that they could like kidnap off the street. So it was like go into these spaces, you kind of like have to navigate your mindset of like you can you can do all the research you can it's different than actually being there and you have to open up and be like yo do i have to watch my back in this this city do i have to watch my back in this country you know and i think being a black woman kind of like it's harder it's 10 times harder traveling because not only are you a woman but you're a black woman so they're already going to treat you nasty because you're a woman but now they're looking at the color of your skin and they're looking at you as the as the inferior so i think you kind of have to be aware and you have to double check and I, that's why I do my research like 10 times like I would never go to like certain countries because I know how they treat women and they know how to treat black women there um for the next generation I want to show them that black representation matters no like it like just dealing with like Chadwick Boseman's passing it show you that like a lot of people looked up to him and what he did it like it matters and I want to empower black women black girls because when I like when I grew up I wasn't I wasn't very secure within myself. I had to learn that as I went older. And I feel like telling a black girl, like you're pretty inside and out, no matter what, like what shade of brown or black you are. And that's something important to me. So, and also to get out and see something bigger than your hometown, because where I'm from, Reading, people only go to like Miami, Ocean City, Maryland, and New York. There's other places that you can go to and find yourself. And I think that's truly important because you can bring back you can bring all that experience back into your city and make it better.